For most of the Middle Ages, until the 16th century, great free cities safe behind their walls vied for political power in Europe with feudal kings and nobles whose wealth came from their vast land holdings. By the 16th and 17th centuries, however, improvements in artillery meant that walls could no longer ensure the safety of cities. At this time, a new and rising class of merchants allied themselves with the kings and nobles. With money supplied by the merchants, kings and nobles could hire large armies, equip them with the latest weapons, and extend their control over more and more territory. By the 18th century, the most powerful of Europe's kings had created national states in which capitalist enterprise was flourishing. The glittering royal courts were supported by new bureaucracies as well as by military might. The wealth, glory and power of these absolute monarchs was most lavishly displayed at Versailles, where the King of France held court. Here the wealthy elite could buy privileges ranging from lucrative offices to exemption from taxation. Perhaps more than elsewhere in Europe, France's king and capitalists had come to ignore the medieval Christian idea of community, which held that the privileged had responsibility for those at the bottom of the social order. The great mass of people were poor while laboring endlessly to support the privileged. This was true of peasants toiling in the fields, burdened with royal taxes, 